And at Fox News Alert now as we go back to Pakistan, a tense standoff between Pakistani peacekeepers aligned with pro-Western President Pervez Musharraf on the one hand and radical Islamic students uh, on the other hand. And that standoff has now taken a very bloody turn. A fierce exchange of gunfire has left one soldier and eight students dead. And now they have brought in a lawmaker who will try to broker a peace. On the phone with us now is Global Radio News reporter Declan Walsh. Declan, thank you for being with us. Uh, that this group, this, this group of Islamic radical students uh, has, is in this mosque. What is it they want from Pervez Musharraf? Um, th th these students are part of a group of people uh, who are allied under a radical preacher called uh, Abdul Rashid Ghazi. Uh, their bigger goal is the imposition of an Islamic state in Pakistan. They say that this is a country that was created for Muslims and it should be run under Muslim law. And to start with that, they've been imposing their own brand of Islamic law right here in the center of the capital over the last five or six months. Uh, what we've seen happening today is really the culmination of that. Uh, until now, these students have been kidnapping policemen outside of the mosque. They've been kidnapping women. They accuse of being prostitutes. Last week, they took some women from a uh, Chinese massage parlor nearby and held them hostage for a short period. So, Declan, it, has... it's, uh, it is no secret that uh, the government in place in Pakistan right now is, is rather U.S. friendly and uh, has been an ally to the U.S. in the war on terror. This student group wants to overthrow that government. The student, not exactly to overthrow it, they want to uh, replace the entire system of government uh, with one that's based on Islamic principles as opposed to one based on semi-secular uh, principles as it's based at the moment. And that's what really led to all of this violence today. Um, it seems there were some clashes at lunchtime that broke out. They deteriorated very quickly, and we had an entire afternoon of shooting with police sharpshooters on buildings surrounding the mosque. Uh, opening fire on both male and female students, hundreds of them sheltering inside the mosque, uh, some of whom have threatened to become suicide bombers if the authorities actually try to storm the building. Right, and not only that, we're told the students as well have, have fired at the police, just so our viewers are clear. One, one other question for you, Declan. Uh, if just looking at the video, it's sort of confusing because you say, well, how can these student groups be combating uh, the Pakistani troops? I mean, what, aren't they very much outnumbered by the Pakistani troops or have, have they not dispatched enough troops to their area now? Absolutely, that's a question that people have been asking here in Islamabad for the last number of months. People have been asking why hasn't the government shown a strong hand. Uh, the government has said that it's afraid that if there are bloody clashes here that are highly publicized, this could spread trouble around the country. Other uh, Islamic groups or other radical mosques might also start to take on the government. So militarily they're certainly outnumbered, uh, but in terms of uh, the politics and their ability to influence events around the country, they certainly seem to have quite a strong hand, and that's what they've been wielding. Interesting. Declan Walsh, thank you very much for that report. Very clear and helpful. Thank you. My pleasure.